From there. Okay, so first of all, let's go back and repeat what I just said. Okay, so we have a third degree uh, polynomial. Because it's a third degree polynomial, I'm going to pick that degree plus one of the numbers of the data we have. My generic form of the polynomial to the third degree is ax to the third plus bx squared plus cx plus d. Okay, now I'm going to take the very first one, the number one, and put it into my generic form. And that's what I got. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with the number two now. A2 to the third plus B2 squared plus D times 2. Oh, this should be a C, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm just using the, the number of numbers right now. We're on the second number in the room. Okay? Yep, I'm using the second number that we're at. So and, and, yes, and it equals 6. So this equals x and then this equals y. Uh, yes, okay? Okay, so now the next one's going to be a times 3 to the third, because we're at our third number, b times 3 squared plus c times 3 plus d, and that equals what? 19, good. And the last one? a to the fourth to the third plus b times four to the second plus c times four plus d equals what? 44. 44. You guys are doing great. Okay, so all that. Now I'm just going to simplify it. Okay, so what's one to the first? I'm one to the third. This is one, right? And then we're going to make a matrix and then create Yay! Yes! Okay. Okay, so that's the first one. Notice how I just simplified it. Is that a Q? No, there's no Qs there. B, 1A plus 1B plus 1C plus 1D equals 1. That would just be D. Yeah, well, or all of them should just be A, B, C. Okay, the second one. Second one, you can make room down below. Okay, the second one will be 2 to the third, which is what? 8. Plus 4, plus 2, plus 1, equals what? 6. Yeah, I'm just simplifying it, Tori. I'm getting these from over here. So, so see, 2 to the 3rd is 8, 2 to the 2nd is 4. They go down. Okay, so this would be 9a plus, oh wait, 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 shh, shh, shh. yeah. Okay, you guys, I, I did put, what's 3 to the 3rd? What is 3 to the 3rd? Nope, 27, 9b plus 3c plus 1d equals what? 19, okay, and then the last one is going to be? 64 plus 16 plus 4C plus 1D. No, we're not going to solve. We're going to make alpha wolfram after. Wait, right? You're right, 44. I put the wrong number down. Wait, Thank you. Okay. We're going to try to solve. We're going to make an equation for this. To find A, B, C, D. Oh, to find A, B, C, D. Yeah. We're going to find, actually make the matrix find our A, B, C, D so we can make our equation. So our matrix looks like this now, right? 1, 8, 27, 64. One, I'm just going down the row. 4, 9, 16. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 1, 1, 1. And then our y values. 1, 6, 
19, and 44. Wait, whoa. Yay. Okay, so now here's where we are going to use our Wolfram Alpha to do this. We're going to write into our Wolfram Alpha, we're going to say row reduce. And we would use, I'm going to use a red bracket just so you guys can see it. Two brackets, first of all. And I'm going to put that top row with um, commas. One, 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 and one. Yep. Oops, I put one too many brackets there. Okay, so the, the next one would be, yes, you're right. Um, I'm going to put another bracket here, 84216, like Annalise said. I was trying to be all fancy with this color, and it's causing me to slow down. And then you'd have another bracket. What's the, what's the bracket going to have in it this time? Yep. Comma. Did someone put that in the thing? All right. Did that? Someone put it in the land Book. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna take this and put it into Wolfram Alpha right now. Okay. So I'm gonna go to my Wolfram Alpha, right there. Yes, you do need to have the commas between the brackets. Good question. Eight, uh, four, two, one. What was our second Y? I forgot it already. Um, it was eight, four, six, two, one, six. Okay. Then the next one was 27. Nine, three, one, nineteen. Okay. And then the next one was 64, 16, 4, 1, 14. Okay. And then I have to put a double bracket. And then as soon as I hit enter. Wait, no, no, no. It's not 14, 44. Oh. 44, 44, 44, 44. I'll fix it. Luckily we can fix it. Yeah, you can't that. <laughs> there we are. Yes. So, look at our output. Yeah. Do they have to be in the certain order that they were down here? Like, do you do like eight, two, four? You should put it in the order exactly because it's really written the way the matrix is. Okay. Where did you get those numbers? This was exactly off of our. Okay, so so just hold on, everybody. So what happens is there's a there's a way of using your matrices to row reduce, and that goes into a whole nother class, and I'm not going to teach you that in this class, okay? But I made this cal this calculator go through and find it for us. So now what I want you to know is this top one, this two thirds, that's your A value. Write it down. So it's always the last one. That's it's the last one. Your B value is zero. Your C value is one third and your D value is zero. Okay? So I'm going to write that down on the next page back to where we were. After we found it, our output gave us an A of two thirds, a B of zero, a C, and D of zero. I'll go back. Are we supposed to copy that thing down? No, just this part right here. Just the last column because that's what your A, B, C, and D is. Uh huh. Okay. So now we have our A, B, C, and D. So I can write my equation now. Are you kidding me? Nope. It's two thirds x to the third. Is there going to be an x squared? Zero x squared. So I don't have to write that one down. Plus one third x plus zero equals. Then that's your function. 
your f of x. And that's the whole thing we're trying to find. You guys, we were given a bunch of data from a, a table, and we were asked to find the function, the explicit function for it, and we did that by doing this. Yes? <laughs> okay. So now you're asking me about the easier way. Why did you teach us this way if there's an easier way? Because if you don't have your, um, if you don't have a cast, then you, better you had to do it this way. Okay, so let me show you another way. You ready? Wait, so is the top part to get to this? Yep, it's all, all that we did was to get to this point right here. Okay? As a matter of fact, you wanted to know, I had the question of who is the moron that wanted us to sit down to do this? Okay, let me tell you who that is. Do you know the guy that wrote Alice in Wonderland? Yeah. He, yes, he is a famous matrix mathematician. Yes. Look it up. So are a lot of us mathematicians. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay, so. That is a good question, Can you answer that question? Okay, yes. I can answer the question why very well. Okay, so listen. In real life, we are given lots of data. Okay? Yes, you are, in most things. Listen, shh, Nick. In real life, we're given lots of data. And lots of times, we need to find a way to model it or find out what's going to happen next. And in order to do that, we need to come up with an equation. And so that's why we do this in real life. Okay, so on the first, uh, now we're going to use uh, regression analysis to do this. And we're going to do this on the CAS or some other calculator that's like it. You can put your X values in the A column and label it X. In the Y column, we're going to put the same output that we had before. 1, 6, 19, 44, 85, 146, and 231. That's all from the original. Okay, this is right on your paper. This is exactly what's right here, okay? Okay. Now, here's what you're going to do. You're going to go to Menu. You're going to go to Statistics. You're going to go to Stat Calculations. And... And once you do that, what, what level of degree did we find that we were at when we went and found our differences? Third degree. So we're going to go down to cubic regression. Yes. Okay, I'll deal with that in a minute. Mm -hmm, table and you put it all in. Okay, so now it asked me for my X list. How did I get the regret? Let me go back. So go to menu. Go to statistics. Go to stat calculations. And then because we have a third degree, we're going down to cubic regression. Okay, so. Hmm? So on this one, I'm going to pick the X value for the X's. I'm going to go to Y and put the Y value for the Y's, if I can get there. And then I'm going to hit OK. Okay. So now if you look, if I can move this over. Okay, so let's talk about what I got now. Shh, you guys, listen. My A value, what does it say for my A value is? A to the zero. Okay, so what did I get before when I did the matrix? Two thirds. Is that the same as two thirds? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Now the next one says one times 10 to the negative 11. What does that really mean? Zero. Zero. That's a zero. And the next one says 0.333. What is that? One third. One third. And what is this one? Practically zero. Okay, but wait. Then how are we supposed to? 
Okay, so anytime you say e, C, e to the negative 11, you're going to say 0, okay? okay? Anything that low is 0. The other ones, if I were going to write this out at this point, I would just put 0 0.66 times okay. 10, x to the third plus 0x to the second plus 0.33x plus 0 equals f of x. Okay? Yes? 